today we are headed out to the barn to see our boys. That's what you do when you have horses. And today I am opening up this box. Most of you guys will know what these are. These are, oh, ow. These are, oh, these are the little tiny things that you stick in your mittens and your shoes. Keep your hands warm. You shake them and they heat up and keep you warm through the whole winter season. We bought a huge box of 40 of them. They last for eight hours, they say, but they never last for eight hours. They last for like 40 minutes. In the past, we've used these little packets. Have you guys seen these? We buy them at the Royal Winter Fair every year. You boil them until they're soft liquid, and then you click the little button inside them, and these heat up. Like, these turn so hot. They don't last so long. They last it at least as long as this, but even longer than these. I love these. Better than these. But, after time, they turn like this. So, I'm going to try, and this is the little button that you push to make them heat up. I'm going to try and boil these things. I have a bunch of them. I bought like 12 or something last year, a couple years ago. Try and boil these things again and get them working and see how well they last. I might even order more of these. That's how much I love them. But for now, we're going to use these. Comment below what you guys use to stay warm if you live in a cold climate during the winter with horses. Well, you know something's wrong. There's something around her neck. You know something's wrong when your horse races, races to you. What happened, Pen? You got a tree? Aww. It's okay. I'll help you. Aww, you guys. She asked me for help. She knows. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're filthy, too. I'm sorry. Were you waiting for me? Oh, you're such a good girl. Like, she's a mess, it's true, but she comes to me when she needs something. Like, no, she had a branch stuck around her neck. And she came and she said, look it, I need help. Oh, Penny Pickle, I just love you. I know, your dad does not brush you when he lets you out in the morning. And you look a mess, it's okay. Yeah, you need a big scratch, yeah. You guys know, she tells me what she needs. She never wants to go in. She likes to eat for as long as she can. <laughs> she came right to me. She said, help, I need help, but she was calm. And look, she knows, she's, oh man. I love my horse, you guys. I love her more than anything. And uh, did you guys see that? Like, she talks, she talks. My horse is a talking horse. She tells me with her heart. She tells me with her heart. Somebody on, I think, day by day vlog edits underscore on Instagram made a video yesterday and I put it in my story because it was so beautiful. This is beautiful edit of Stella and it was beautiful. And then at the end, there was this huge plot twist. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I love my pony. I love my pony. And then the plot at the, the end in the song, it said, things have changed while you're away. And then it showed Penny and Stella both doing the exact same movement. And how much <laughs> your other friend is here. Yes, we know. <laughs> they all hate Gracie though, but. I know, but Penny's never the first one in. All right, let's take this off. Anyways, it crushed my heart, but it made me think about Stella Oh, good girl, yeah. Good girl. I didn't realize until now that it was Penny instead of Stella. Yeah, because they both look exactly the same. Like, they look so much alike, but my point is, is that the thing that I recognized, it, first of all, it touched my heart so much. Like, I felt so bad that Stella's gone and that Penny is like her replacement and that it's almost like Stella over again. But. The thing that made me realize is that even though we all loved Stella, Stella was a friendly, loving horse. She was a gentle, gentle horse. Like, loved everybody and all the horses, everybody. Like, she was so loving. And Penny is not like that. She's kind of grouchy, but I never knew Stella the way I know Penny. Like, I know Penny in the bottom of my soul. Like, it's the weirdest thing. Do you guys, like, Explain it to me you guys like why why do I know her? I know her on a level that I don't know any other horse like she knows and I think it's because 
I know she knows me in the bottom of her heart. And so I know her. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Explain it to me. But I know Penny in my soul. As soon as I saw her walking toward me, I'm like, mm, she needs me. She needed me. And she asked me. <laughs> Gracie's like, I will run. You're okay. I'll see you later. I will see you all later. We're going to see your brothers. One day we'll all be reunited on one big farm, okay? I promise. I promise you that. It might not have seemed like a big deal to you, but it was a big deal to me. And it was a big deal to Penny. She's probably standing in that field watching for me, watching for me, thinking, oh, I wish my Laura would come and she could take the branch off my head. And she was so calm. Like, oh, I just love her. All right, I'm at the top of the hill. <laughs> Oh, he's underneath the shelter with all the horses. <laughs> and Finny is over there. <laughs> Gabby's like, I know why you want me to come with you. I'm coming. He looks away. <laughs> he's like, no. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Gabby says, look at how pale she looks. <laughs> we didn't really get a tan this summer. We didn't do as many beaches as I thought. We were all about the horse shows this summer. This is why you wear boots. And Gabby has a really beautiful pair of barn winter boots. Keep going. It is mud season. It is mud season, it's true, but you guys, normally in Canada in the middle of November, it's freezing cold and sometimes we have snow and it's not that cold out. It's glorious actually. It's like beautiful fall day. All right, not a beautiful fall day. It's overcast and cool, but I still, I think you can see my breath, but it still feels amazing. It still feels good when you can wear not too much stuff on you and still be warm. Hey, handsome man. You ready for a ride? Yeah? He's like, yeah, I am. Oh. I, I never taught him how to hug. He just hugs himself. Yeah, show, show. Show them how you hug. He hugs me himself. I know. He doesn't, he doesn't he, to me. I know. So she hugs him and then he just hugs her back really well, tight. I'm, I'm doing the strap. And then he hugged you? And then yeah, only is on his terms, right? Yeah. That's how you know your horse loves you. This is a horse loving kind of day. Just like I never taught him to kiss. Did you see what Penny did? Walk up to you? She had a big huge tree branch attached to her neck. And she saw me come out and she just walked straight to me calmly and said, Hey, I need help. <laughs> I never taught him how to kiss. He just learned himself. I know, he watched the ponies. We never had Penny at home with all the horses, but I think we've had all the rest of them at home together at some point. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Not Penny. But anyways, maybe not Gracie. Yeah, I, I don't know, I can't remember. But it was fun, it was so fun having them all. Like, it was just so fun watching them interact and learn each other and Storm was hilarious and like the adventures of horses. It was so fun. I can't wait for that again. I told the mares, one day soon we'll have a new farm and we can all fit. So there's a there's a thing you know here. Crooked thing is, we don't know. Yeah, I know. I saw it. They're like, <laughs> I was like, whoa. So Sam has crooked fingers. Show them. Sam's These crooked. Two are crooked. Those two are crooked. Now show them your fingers. So Gabby has three crooked fingers on no, each hand. No, my thumbs are two. Oh, your thumbs are two? Yeah. Slightly. You must have been in the womb. <laughs> To, in the womb. But I saw Gabby trying to push my phone the other day, like push a button on my phone, and she can't do it very good because her fingers don't like. You gotta go like this. <laughs> yeah. No, it's you worse at night when you can't see your fingers and you know where you're tapping. But, it's not but tapping. your finger doesn't go there. Let me see your crooked fingers. Gabby, Sylvia has perfectly fine fingers just like me. That's all the, the nails caffeine one lady. drank while she had you. I know. I I drank one coffee a day with Gabby and zero coffee a day she with Sophie. She hates me because she literally does that to my fingers when I get my nails done. I'm just like, oh, okay, that hurt. But all right. We're here in the barn, and it is riding our horse time. 
love this time of day like we have such a rigid schedule you guys we ride all the time like we have a schedule for everything and tomorrow is my day to ride penny as long as it doesn't rain it's going on a loose rain today so uh sylvie's been obsessed with poles recently because she's finally actually like getting a lot more knowledge about certain things and she's wanting to like practice that and perfect that so she's been obsessing over her pole work gabby is perfecting her late to the barn last one to the barn skills <laughs> she's like i got nothing to say <laughs> you ready are you ready to nail it mr magoo my belt is really He's like, I don't really want to do this, but if you insist, I will do it. No. Whoa. We don't insist. We say do it. I actually think that we haven't been showing them our rides at home lately. We need to do that. Maybe I will show you guys a little bit of what's been happening at home because maybe I'll like add them all into one small video or something because I feel like. We have all this footage and we haven't oh, shared it. <laughs> Sophie's progression on Finny Boy at home. You know what? I'm going to leave them undone. What's the problem? What is the problem, sister? This. In order to do them up, because they're still freaking tall, yeah. I have to slide this part down, then yeah. do it up, and it's still a stretch and it hurts. Yeah. But so, I'm not going to do that today. When Gabby wanted new boots, they we couldn't get any new boots except for like an inch bigger than her size. But the lady told me that they probably shrink down an inch, so, or a half an inch, I think she said. So we thought they'd be okay, but they're still a tiny bit tall, but she doesn't mind them. So she's just gonna have to get a new pair though. I should start looking now before Christmas when nothing is available. See, I work on a six rod now. She's working on her sit trot. So at our last lesson, when she was riding around with Brandon, she said, I've been working on my sit trot. So Sam went to get us coffee, but I don't drink coffee in the afternoon, but I'm drinking white hot chocolate. I've never heard of it before. Little off balance. Work on your balance. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. So much change, you guys. So much amazing change. Lots of room to improve. Lots of room to improve, but definitely a lot of change. And it's true, Gabby talks to herself. Like she literally talks to herself so much. She's up there drinking coffee. No, she's drinking hot chocolate on her horse. Think about leg yielding him to the rail. Gabby says, control your pony. Leg yield, leg yield, leg yield. All right, so somebody sent me a message and said, you should try leg yielding across the diagonal, Sophie. Leg yielding across the diagonal will make him use his back end. No, it doesn't do that. It does something to make his back legs are always stiff. I don't know, I knew I would butcher it. Yeah. No head shaking. Gabby's still down there talking to somebody, but we don't know who. You guys, I missed it on camera. Gabby said it. She said it. Oh my gosh. Brandon got her used to riding with longer stirrups, and she's not very happy about it. <laughs> so, are you riding with longer stirrups too? No, I'm riding with normal stirrups. Normal stirrups. I love the way Chino moves and I love how pretty he is and like, he is a really nice horse but can you tell he has no ambition. Chino, we didn't film it. Look at you. Oh, such a handsome boy. Like he is a handsome horse. Plain bay but handsome. Wow. I know Finn can do it because he's like fast and and like smooth. I don't know. He's like, but yeah, Chino had hard. Yeah, she had to collect him a tiny bit. All right, you're all finished. And he was good. He was good. And he was good. They were all good. You should do some carrot stretches with this boy. 
What? All right, you're all good. What was that? What do you mean? You said that differently for the camera. You were good, and I'm saying it for him. No, they okay. like baby voices. Do you like a baby voice? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Off if you try to kiss him. <laughs> yeah, do you guys remember that? I made you a TikTok. Tried to. Yeah, that was scary. <laughs> he likes hugs. He's a hugger. It is actually freezing outside. Whew, the horses almost need blankets on now, our girls. Oh, it's getting late, and we're just getting ready to edit the vlog. <laughs> and we came down, Sophie and I came down because Sophie has a plan. The plan is to brush Penny. Is she is a mess. Look at those ears. Hi, be nice. <laughs> She's like, give me supper right now. Oh. Sam's coming. Sam feeds some supper and he gets annoyed if we interfere. It's coming, little mini. Even though there are horses. They're doing like the carousel dance here. Do 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 do. You're so hungry? Okay, so why'd we come down here? Oh, we came down here. Is it in here or is it in the arena? I think it's in the arena. We came down here to get something for Sophie. I'm gonna explain. Did you bring your phone, Sophie, so we have a flashlight? Yeah, but it's okay. not a very good flashlight. Oh, well, put the flashlight on, sister. What we came for is... Oh, let's go up. <laughs> Sophie's like, this is scary. Oh, it's right there. Okay, grab it. No, grab it. <laughs> It's all dirty. I don't like to feel. Yeah, so I'm gonna wash this. So the reason, the thing we came down for. Don't touch me. <laughs> is this hula hoop? We got it at a secondhand store recently, and we love this thing. So long ago, when the girls were little, we used to take our chihuahuas into this competition every single year. It was this dog show that we go to, and they always try to win these prizes. And the first year they won these prizes, and then the next couple of years there was this older woman who had a dog that jumped through her arms. A dog. A, she had a dog that jumped through her arms and so uh, now we have this and so if he's like I'm gonna start training my dog now to win that competition and this time I'll be the old lady winning and then this time Sophie will win and Gabby decided she doesn't even want to go win it even though she has a good dog that could win it but anyway and mine's gonna win cuz we're gonna, gonna clean this up wash it and uh, Sophie's gonna be practicing from now till spring, till summer actually, uh, and get a really good routine going so that her, her dog can win. Don't you know that you